Daddy, I did this one for Papa. We had Chancellor's dinner in Covenant University, and I handled it. I did this for Papa. I beg you by the message of God. When you have any event, wedding, no birthday, don't call a Calabar man to come and sing at your wedding reception. Because if you call a Calabar man to come and sing at your reception at your event, he will sing the same song from the beginning to the end. But in the Lord, I went for a program in Calabar, and a Calabar man was on the band. Come and hear him sing. You are what the Lord. 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 King of Kings. For the next, for the next thirty minutes, he was singing this song. He was singing the same song. So the groom got angry. He said, "Now we are tired of this song." Can you please sing something else for us? I said, my brother, don't worry, I will sing another song for you. He now changed the song. You are worthy, 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 worthy. you are worthy, worthy, worthy. <laughs> what is the difference? Amen. But when you have an event, any event, and you need someone to sing for you, call a Yoruba man. Amen. Call a Yoruba man. You guys are not excited. Are you not Yorubas here? Yeah? Amen. The reason why I said you should call a Yoruba man is because a Yoruba man does not need to prepare for any song when he's singing at an event. He can use everybody he sees to compose song. Okay, keep on this now. Azumi is a Yoruba man and you invited him to this church for an event, a reception. He didn't prepare. He will use people to sing. Keep on this, give me. Dun, 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 dun. Suddenly, the man coughed. As he coughed, they gave him bottle water. You people need to come back and give your life to Christ. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. The Lord will give you a new song in 